leading is about making the right decisions. And always I am challenged because when I make right decisions, people always tell me, you know, you have to think about your re-election. And do you? You know, Does that, and, 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 I, and, I keep, and I keep rem, and I keep reminding them that I was not elected to be re-elected. I was elected to transform the country. Okay, let me ask you this. You know, and 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 I, I remember when I speak in some fora, yeah. and people come and whisper to me, "Oh, you know, don't don't say too much, because you see." You know, these people might get annoyed with you and, you know. And, you know, I'm asking myself, it's not in my place to say what people want to hear or what is popular. Yeah. It is my position to say what is right. And, you know, what is right is not necessarily popular. Yes. And it is the conversation... Yeah. That's very <laughs> it, is, it is the conversation we're having in Kenya, you know. Uh, let me give you two examples. Yeah. When I came into office, I told the people of Kenya, our savings as a percentage of GDP is around 10, 11%. Countries, other countries are in the region of 40, 50. China is at 55% percentage of saving. We were saving 200 shillings every month, every Kenyan in our uh, National Social Security Fund. I said, we must change this. We changed it. Now every Kenyan pays 6% of their salary. Their employer pays 6% of, uh, of an equivalent into our savings. And I promise you, what is happening now is that our, nation, our social security fund, which is about 320 billion Kenya shillings now, we are going to double it and we have saved that 320 in 60 years. But we are going to double it in four years because of the decision we have okay. made. You, you've had let, to take tough me, decisions. Let, let me say you, tell you one more thing. Okay. We agreed with the people of Kenya that housing is a problem. We have 7 million Kenyans living in slums. We have 1,410 slums in case people living in squalor. In, 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 um, without water, without electricity, without anything. And I said, we must have a, diff a paradigm shift. Everybody agrees that we need to invest in housing. In fact, let me tell you this. Both the manifesto of the party I lead and the manifesto of my challenger, both of them had housing. But when it came to implementation, the uproar was unbelievable. But I said, people, we, may, we, we, we had this in our manifestos, we're going to implement. Let me tell you the good news. We have now 120,000 housing units under construction in Kenya. It is my intention to get a million Kenyans homeowners in the next five years. That is a function of decision-making. That's a function of leadership. And finally, my brother Paul Kagame has done a wonderful job on the reform of the AU. He handed over his notes to me. I intend not to let down my brother. This AU, we are going to reform it. And we are going to make AU a fit for purpose organization so that we can sort out the things Ali Dangote is talking about so that we can have clarity in where we want to go. We can get the Africa continental free trade area moving and being a reality so that our business people can trade across this continent so that we can move across this continent. President Kagame has removed visa for people coming to Kenya, uh, for people coming to, to Rwanda. I have done the same. And uh, I, 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 I like what I heard from uh, my good brother from, from Kenya. He said uh, in Nigeria, they pay two, you say 230 US dollars? Yeah. We, you, you pay ATA only $30 and you pay it online. 
you don't have to go to no office. So this is the situation we are faced with, and I want to say that we are going to change our continent ourselves, not others. Brilliant. Okay, I have follow-ups on the tax regime.